across the shifting dunes of ages past lies a land of legend and intrigue. Through the roar of the wind echoes the legends of pharaohs. For millennia it has been written that a great man will return this kingdom to power. He has lived a thousand lives and spoken a thousand tongues. At last, after an eternity of waiting, he arrives. Oh, excuse me. It's hot today. Oh wow, look at that. To mark the release of Total War Pharaoh, Creative Assembly have sent me on a mission to explore Boink. the rich history of the Egyptian New Kingdom. As I reveal what led to the collapse of this ancient empire, I'll be learning how to live, well, this is the life, fight, ah! and die like an Egyptian for when it's all over, in an attempt to discover how a 21st century pharaoh, Wang Assis the first, could avoid a similar downfall. I'm Phil Wang, and this is my guide to defending Egypt. Well, it looks like the gang's back together for series two. Now, Total War Pharaoh is set during the fall of the New Kingdom. So, Creative Assembly have sent me to Egypt to discover how it happened, how it could have been prevented, and to have a lovely little holiday. It's, it's not holiday, Phil. We've got a lot to learn, and we've actually got some really good historical experts for you to meet. Yeah, that sounds fine, but you know, it's my first time in Egypt, it's kind of bad holiday. I want to see the pyramids, I want to see the Sphinx. I've actually got a tour booked uh, really soon, actually. I've got a camel ride booked. I so mean, that, that's not relevant to what we're here to do at all. I don't see how pyramids and camels isn't relevant to Egypt, Derby. Pay attention. This again. All right, come on, let's go. Egypt, pyramid. The crew's new kingdom expert sounds a bit boring. And this is my guide to defending Egypt. It's also my holiday. So I've booked a camel ride with tour guide Radwa to soak up the sights and sounds of Giza. Oh, Giza, couple of pyramids. Oh. Radwa. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who's your friend? This is our friend, Camel. His name's Camel? Yeah, his name is Camel. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> I think he will behave. OK, yeah. if you think he'll behave. Yeah, I think he will okay. behave. He's better dressed than I am. People back home are going to be so jealous of me. It will be envy. Yes, thank you. Envy, that's the point of a holiday. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's not a holiday, Phil. <laughs> Sorry? It's not a holiday. <laughs> Have you seen this camel? Looks a bit like a holiday to me. <laughs> Thanks, camel. Sorry, it won't be... Oh, all right. <laughs> come, Izzy. Let's come. Come. Careful, he might spit. Okay, well, let me try and put him in first gear. For a new kingdom, this place seems pretty old. It's just dust everywhere. Or as the locals call it, sand. Sometimes I ride the cam, but not like you. Thank you, I'll take yeah. that as a compliment. No, 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 I mean because of the dress. From here, if you look, you will see that the second pyramid is taller than the first. Do you know why? Because we're closer to it? N no. Look at this. Yeah. Radwa, the pyramids. They're so big. I feel like a pharaoh come to pay his respects yes. to the pharaohs of the past. So now we go to the pyramids by walking. Okay. Oh, we're going to walk now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, like, are sitting the whole trip, so you needed to walk a little well, bit. Well, yeah, but it's, it's hard work as well. It's low, it takes a lot of core strength. Maybe, maybe. What a bumpy ride, and literally a bumpy animal. Now time to get my history hat on and ask Radwa the tough questions. Which pyramid did the aliens build? How do I stay safe from an ancient Egyptian curse? Thought there'd be like a couple of restaurants, a hat shop. Yeah. Which pyramid is your favorite? Oh, so these are essentially huge safes. Yes. The man, the myth, the lion. The Sphinx. It's a good looking guy. Yes. This is the head of King Kifrin or Shifrin. Is that his face? Is that Kifrin's yes, face? Yes, yes, yes. It is. is so the face. Yeah, it is like the is... photo of the king. That's a selfie, his yeah. liony selfie. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. So this is the end of the tour today. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks so much, Radwa. It was incredible. Yeah. I saw it all. I feel like I have a good understanding of the New Kingdom and I can finally relax new, new and kingdom? enjoy the rest of my holiday. Yeah, the New Kingdom. So, you know, uh, the Egyptian Empire, Egypt at its greatest height of power and influence, you know, when no, they built all no. this. No, no. Here we are at the Old Kingdom. What do you mean? 
New, this, these are like 2500 BC. New Kingdoms is around 1200 BC or 1300 BC, not here. So what I was trying to say this morning, Phil, we've got a New Kingdom expert that we wanted to set you up with. Right. That's what the documentary is about. But, well, this, I assume this, this was all the same, this is, you know, ancient Egypt. No, this is about a thousand years before, I reckon. Yes, yeah. Well, okay, well, yeah. Hmm. well, this is a bit embarrassing. Are you willing to come and meet our guy now, then? Does he have a camel? Mm, I don't think so. Thanks anyway, Radwa. Yeah, it was, it was a fun day, and yeah. I, you know, I've got to go find a guy who doesn't have a camel now. So the pyramids are the old kingdom, but I'm looking for the new kingdom. I'm off to meet Arto at the Egyptian Museum, who's going to set me straight about some dates, and who, I reiterate, doesn't have a camel. Arto, Phil, good to meet you. How are good, you? Good to meet you too. I'm guessing you're the guy. I am the guy. You're their guy. I am their guy. You're the guy. I'm here to fill you in on everything before the New Kingdom so that you are very well equipped with all the knowledge you need to really understand the New Kingdom. Yeah, well that's good because uh, I've had a bit of an embarrassing start really to the trip. I had a great morning looking at the pyramids and the Sphinx and uh, then found out I was off by about uh, more than a millennium. <laughs> well, let's get to it then. We begin actually right around here and we're gonna go around that way because conveniently the ground floor of the Egyptian Museum is arranged chronologically. Okay, oh that's neat. So we can walk from the past to the, also the past, but not so far past. Exactly so. Okay, great, let's do it. All right, let's do I'll it I'll follow then. you. Wow, this place is full of artifacts, or as Arto calls them, artifacts. LOL. We kick off at the very beginning. Now this is the first thing you want to show me? Yes, this is it. This is really where the ancient Egyptian nation state really starts. Oh, it's smaller than you think. <laughs> this object is roughly from 3100 BC. It looks like a flattened vase really, it looks like a vase has been steamed. Yeah, it's technically a very large ceremonial cosmetic palette. A palette? Yes. Like a palette? Palette. No, no, no. Like, oh, right. More like that, yeah. Like, like a flat, a flat thing. That is King Narmir. Narmir. Yes. Credited as being the first king of all of ancient Egyptian history. Right. This palette is the origin story of Egypt, basically. This is Captain America. That's also the first of oh, the um, yes. Avengers movies, really, that gets the series started. The whole franchise starts with that one movie. <laughs> to conquer Egypt's one thing, to do it barefoot. <laughs> They call him the Blister Pharaoh. <laughs> the guy behind the king is his little sandal bearer. Wow! That's pretty prominent uh, placing for the sandal bearer. Yeah? Sandal bearer, you made the cut. <laughs> You're on the pallet. It's like, and the guy's just holding sandals. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was, did not see this coming. A lot of pharaohs have come and gone. But luckily, it seems like Arto knows everyone in this joint. This is Mentuhotep II. After the Old Kingdom breaks down, this is the king that reunites the country and founds what we call today the Middle Kingdom. And by the looks of it, never skipped leg day. Look at that. Oh my gosh. At last, I'm where I came to be, the New Kingdom. I feel like I've been here for 3,000 years. But Arto's got one more thing to show me, and it just so happens to be one of the greatest pharaohs of all time. The goat, the Gepat. Now this is special. This is Ramses. The second, the great. Right, okay. Why is Ramses depicting himself as a child? The reason is actually very clever. Here's Ramses, right? He's got the sun disc on his head, Ra. Okay. So Ra, Mes, and then that hieroglyph oh. there is Su, Ra Mesu. It's one way he spelled his name. That hieroglyph. Da 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 da. There it is. And remember, the sun disc is Ra. Ra. And the word for child is MS. MS. Ra Messi. Wow. <laughs> How He's very cleverly had written his own name like this in, in three statue. dimensions. Wow. If you were to do that, our toe, you'd have a painting, and then you're just pointing out your toe. <laughs> yeah. Fill, I've got like a jug, I'm filling it, and then I'm sticking my lip out. <laughs> so when Ramses was born, he was not born into the royal family. Oh, really? Mm -mm. So anyone could become pharaoh, even if they weren't royal, if they had enough skill and tenacity and uh, wit, they could, they could rise and become pharaoh? Technically possible. 
Interesting. But yeah, I have to point out that Ramses became anyone king could become by fair. virtue of anyone. his grandfather had been king. His, his grandfather was a general. This is a weird holiday. The second. So I mean, he was I will good. become pharaoh. You. You'll what? I'll become Pharaoh, Otto. That's how I build my guide to defending Egypt. I will become the next great Pharaoh. Wangasis the first. <laughs> They'll tremble before me, Otto. Oh, okay. You'll guide me on the way, Otto. You will be <laughs> my therapy falcon. So tell me, how do I do it? How do I become the next Pharaoh of Egypt? If you really want to do this, you have to get out of the touristy places. Get out there amongst the Egyptian people. I know just the place. Follow me. <laughs> where? Where? He's, so, he's always like this. But that's not, that's not even where the exit is. Oh my Ra! I've never felt so alive. Destiny has come a-calling at last, and I know just the place where the next pharaoh of Egypt is gonna feel right at home. Phil, when I said get away from the touristy things, this was not what I had in mind. What are you talking about? How much more authentic did we get? This is the pharaonic village. I'm a pharaoh, this'll be my new village. This is not how to become pharaoh. Okay, okay, well, it's a start. How do yeah. I become pharaoh? If not, if not in a swinging boat, how do I do it? Well, maybe we should go and actually see some of the activities that the ancient Egyptians actually went about on their daily lives. Right, okay. Driver, uh, just a bit to the right, please. What is Otto talking about? This place is great. Now time to mingle amongst my people and get some hands-on experience. One fire coming up. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Oh, so close. Ah. One piece of A4 coming up. This seems uh, rather modern. I love being Pharaoh. Wang is the first. Time to survey my kingdom, Otto. And what better way than a Nile cruise? I agree. In fact, uh, kings were known to have traveled up and down the Nile. Ah, the ancient Egyptian board game called Senet. I think she won. He doesn't look very happy with that. <laughs> That guy is absolutely furious at the water. I don't know what it's done to him, but he is not happy. So Phil, this place is great because everyone's in costume, they look the part, they'll be doing things, living like actual ancient Egyptians, making Oh, a 90 cinema! Come on, oh. I didn't even know there were nine dimensions. Egyptian science is light years ahead. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, I haven't seen this realistic a depiction of ancient Egypt since the Scorpion King. Oh, oh it's a snake guy again. Ah. Oh. Hmm, maybe nine is too many dimensions. But I'm determined to prove to Arto that this place is basically Pharaoh Boot Camp. Yes. Yes, look at this. All right, Arto, this is what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely ideal. Here's my throne. Here's my temple. Here's for when it's all over. It might be me at the end of the day if I don't drink enough water. <laughs> and the Guinness logo for you to bring pints into the afterlife. It, the ancient Egyptians did do that. They had beer? Absolutely. Really? Since prehistory. What did they make it from? Barley. Really? Was it good? Were they like lagers or IPAs? Were they, they had happy? all kinds. A chariot? I think everything I need is in this room, Mata. Sure looks like it. I think in order for me to be taken seriously as Pharaoh, I need to look like a Pharaoh. I want to try on some outfits. Arto, you let me know how I look, okay? Behold, Wanga sees the first. Huh? Perfect. Huh? Huh? I think this is it. This is it. I feel pharaonic. You look it. From moronic to pharaonic. 
<laughs> I've got a question mark, and I've got number one. Questions and answers. And most importantly, a flail. Never fail to flail, Arto. Never fail to flail. When they get out of line, it's flail time. <laughs> That's my motto. If I want to become a popular pharaoh, I'll need a good marketing campaign. A royal portrait, sire? But at least for now, I look and feel the part. The Canaanites shall not take this day! And luckily the gift shop sells some pretty cool merchandise. That's the most regal pose of all. Your uh, oh. royal pillow is ready. It's finished! At last I can sit on my face. <laughs> well, I've had a great day at the Pharaonic Village. The New Kingdom had everything. It had culture, it had beautiful temples, it had beautiful houses, it had a 9D cinema. Arto, how did it go wrong? How did this all fall apart? Well, Phil, um, being king and running a country has a lot more dimensions to it. More than nine. More than nine. Well, how do I do it? How do I become pharaoh? How do I defend the new kingdom? I would summarize everything into three main points. Conflict, the economy, and death and the afterlife. Well, it looks like my road ahead is more difficult than I thought at first, Arto, and you seem to know what you're talking about. Will you be my right-hand man? Will you be my sandal bearer? Um... That sounds like a yes to me. All right, come on. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Better get started. Let's defend this kingdom. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. If anything, this ought to be fun. <laughs> well, my mission to defend Egypt has begun. I learned that this place is even more ancient than I thought. Thought there'd be like a couple of restaurants, a hat shop. I met a legend of the new kingdom, Ramesi. Wow! And got my hands dirty living amongst the people. One piece of A4 coming up. But above all, I realized my true calling George. to become the next great pharaoh of Egypt. Join me next time when I'll be learning all about conflict. How to shoot a bow and arrow. Oh. And how to ride a chariot, pharaoh style. Onwards, please. Oh, gosh, okay. <laughs>